really miss my nigga. I really miss my nigga. Like a desert eagle. Trill. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm. Today we doing a new, new gameplay walkthrough. We are doing Max Payne. Let me shut my door. Stand by, 1010. Investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. Ten four dispatcher, verify address. Be a fugitive in the beginning of this shit. Hmm. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. Thank you, ugly man. <laughs> to make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. The American Dream. Max Payne. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? We're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Dang. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Okay, let's... What the hell? Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to... Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Yeah, that's some bullshit, man. Oh, I got this dumb ass right now. Please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Michelle? Well, like, Michelle Love. Michelle Love. I don't see my face to look at that. No! 
That thing, Max. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside, the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. Mm. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next he didn't even step off Roscoe the train yet. And Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Jesus Christ. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Yeah. Falls up. Souls up. But if you're so up. Bills would hold the pain back for a while. If Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, well, what's the plan? Simple. Gun down every mother loving bastard that the heck? Damn! Ah! I, hit the, I hit them niggas like four times. And them niggas didn't even die. That's some. That's some messed up. I got a desert eagle. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Ah. Oh, they killed the police, man. They get some police killers. Son. I got a shotgun, I'm about to pop son. Yeah, phones up. Phones up. Phones up. If your phones up, nigga, put your soul up. Ah! <laughs> Take it easy. 
Say it ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Kiss it no. goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Come on. This way. Yo. Dang. Die. train lit up like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Just for my own life. How do I get the hell down? Out of here. for being subtle.
almost died. I almost died. I almost died. That's funny. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. Let's kill these sons of bitches. <clears throat> eh? No. Eh? Forget it. Forget about it. Hold it. Forget about it. Yeah, I saw that transition. That nigga didn't even see me coming. Like I tell him, forget about it. That transition was fire. <laughs> like Lapino. Now that's spooky. Jack Lapino. Yeah, spooky. Ice! I told y'all to forget about it. Nobody wanna listen to me. They never wanna forget about it. What the hell was that? Can you die already? Doing these right. Okay. Got it. I'm so sorry, y'all. The new reds got on my nerves. <laughs> Hold on here. 
Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. Ah! I saw it. I saw it. The door had been welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. They're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. In and out. I did that. I did that. Well, at well, least, well, at least, well, at least, well, at least, well, at least, have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Oh, 
funny if somebody was standing behind her. Hold it. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me up. No wrong control. Uh, let's start this again. Heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex, am I glad to see you? What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an arm. Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lapino, let's move. Alex? They, they switched Alex. up the cell when you got shot. There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Okay, we're gonna stop it right here.